Hey everyone, it's Nick with Us vs. Herd. If it's your first time here, you love the content, hit subscribe. If you want to join our live streams, we recently launched a new channel exclusively for our live streams. The links are below to that second channel for the live stream. And if you want to join the UVH fam, links are below to our Discord along with our free options trading group. And what I want to do today is talk about back testing through thinkorswim a lot of times you may have an idea about a trade but you don't have any data on how to back it up you have no data on how that happened how it worked in the past so you want to take a look at the numbers and run the numbers yourself so what i suggest for people is if you if you have this bright idea like hey if i just did this every single time would i make money would i not make money and really, you can run your own research this way. And I'm going to be doing this around earnings because a lot of people say, hey, if I do like an at the money strangle or if I do an iron condor, which are very popular for people around earnings, you know, would I make money? You know, and would I win more than I lost? You know, that's the goal. You may lose a couple in there, but the question is, will you win more than you lose? I'm going to use this example around Netflix. So, what you want to do first is hit the on demand button. The on demand will then switch you to a virtual account or a paper account where you can run simulations right now it's um december 6 is the date that it is in here but you can you can kind of see that this is live and it's moving at some from december 6th uh, with this account you do get a hundred thousand dollars in option buying power and two hundred thousand dollars in stock buying power and then you can reset this anytime that you want so if you lose all your money you can just hit reset account and you can you can run this scenario over and over and over again as many times as you want and you know so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go back into netflix i'm not going to do a ton of things but i'm going to just show you a couple of trades i'm going to do a strangle i'm going to do an iron condor and what i'm going to do is probably run the last couple last couple um, earnings for Netflix. So I'm going to do the last earnings, which was on October 16th, 2019. Okay, what I'm going to do, I'm going to fast forward to, I am central time, so I'm going to do 14. Uh, I'm going to do it at 45. So 15 minutes before market close, which is pretty pretty typical for me. So this time change. So now we're at end of day. It's still, it's still rolling here. End of day, so I'm gonna do a. I'll hit play here, so you guys get the real. So you can actually pause and play this. So we're gonna hit play, so this way you can see real time at that time what what that stock was doing. So right now, see Netflix ripped up from 282 pre earnings to 286, 288 area. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna do a strangle here. So I'm gonna go to trade, and we're gonna trade grade. And I'll, I'll, I'm gonna do this week's expiration. And I'm just gonna do an at the money strangle here. So I'm gonna buy the I'm gonna buy the 285, and I'm gonna buy the 287.50. It's gonna cost me 3070. I'm just gonna confirm and send. And we got that locked in. So what I'm now going to do is fast forward this till tomorrow morning, the next day, which is October 17th, and we'll 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 get this started at 8:30. 8:30. So I'm central, just so you know. So I'm an hour behind in terms of Eastern. So I'm gonna go 8:30. It's gonna fast forward me to 8:30 in the morning. And right now this is at 3:04. You know, it closed at 3:09. We could check what the account is worth. And that at the money strangle, as you can see here, I'm down a thousand dollars on. So that didn't work out. So you can see here, so if you sold this, and then you can kind of see, you could also say, hey, if I held this, what would happen? But I'm just gonna cut this loose. I'm actually gonna do a, it's gonna, I'm gonna sell this. So I, I paid $30 for it, now I'm selling it for $19. So not good. So I didn't get a fill. Let's go down 19. Just get this out of the account. No fail. <laughs> fail. No fail. Mid price eight fifteen. So mid price eight fifteen. This numbers are coming down a lot. So I'm losing even more money. So you can kind of see. You can kind of play the scenario how you would exit this trade if you're trying to exit. Now I'm down twelve hundred dollars versus eleven. So I'm just gonna do. We're gonna. We'll try to hit mid price again at eight eighteen forty nine. Okay, so I got out of 1849 instead of 19. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna reset this 
and we're gonna reset the account. Let's let's run this again. We'll go back to 816, October 16, right before close. So we'll do 1445 again. Do 1445 and go. On the 16th, so earnings was. So we'll go back to the 16th. So now my buying power is reset at, at $100,000. And we're back here at 286 on Netflix. So let's see if I can do an iron condor on this to, to kind of mix it up for us. Let's do show more strikes. So the, the one thing is not showing on this is like the, what the expected move was going to be, but you can kind of guess by um, the option pricing. It's looking like a fifteen dollar, um, a fifteen dollar expected move, maybe maybe twenty dollar expected move. So what I'm going to try to do, I'm going to try to do like a twenty dollar uh, wide iron condor on this. So it's right now it's two eighty six. So we'll see if we can come down to, and I'll do five dollar wide wings. You know, it's not going to be perfect. So I'm going to sell. The 260 put, I'm going to buy the 255, and then I'm going to come back down here. We're going to go, we're going to go down to see, 260, 350, so it's a $25 wide. So we'll try to do another $25 on this side. So we're going to come down to, so I get a dollar, so far $1.15 credit for that. So we'll come down to 365. So we'll try the we'll try the 325 and then the 330. So let's make sure we got that right. It's just missing the 330. Put the 330 put on there. There we go. Okay, so we got the 325 selling the 325 call. Bought the 330 call. So this is an iron condor. Getting a dollar ninety-eight credit for it. Let's see if this fills here. Okay, so that did not fill down on eight. Let's try to get the fill here. We'll come down to a dollar ninety-five. Okay, got it for got it got it in for a dollar ninety-six as you can see here. So what we're gonna do, oops, we're gonna fast forward again. So now we're going to go back to market open. We're going to do 8:30 the next day. So on the 17th, let's fast forward. It's still 286. Run the scenario again, 304, and you can see here now this trade. I am up $133. My max was my max on this order. Max profit here was $1.96. I'm up 137 so I can go ahead and close that. So the Iron Condor was the win here, not the Strangle, <clears throat> because it pretty much it stayed way within the expected move. So you can kind of go see if you want to um, close this order now. Create the closing order. We'll buy it back, $0.45. Cents. We'll try to get a $0.45 cent debit out of that. Didn't fail. Try to pay a bit more. You know, right, right when market opens, it's not the, uh, gotta wait for options to settle in a little bit. <clears throat> it's a mid price. Mid price is now 50. So let's just close out 55 cents. Okay, close it, close for 51 cents here. So I put 55 cents in. So. So as you can see, we made we made one hundred forty five dollars here. Um, you know, we 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 got a dollar ninety six credit. We bought it back for fifty one cents. So you see that we lost. We made we made money with the iron condor. We lost money with the strangle. And then what I would do was really just do that through the past earnings and see which strategy really has more of a success rate. Write these things down. Figure out what was helpful, what was not helpful and you know play this in different stocks because sometimes we may have these what we call genius ideas good ideas but maybe they're not good ideas at all so you can see the strangle lost money on that play but maybe maybe on i'm not going to run the numbers here you could do it yourself if you like on july 18th because we had such a big move 
you know, maybe the strangle did pay off and the iron condor lost money. So you just you just want to really run those and you can also do it on different chart setups. It doesn't have to be earnings, it could be anything that you want to. Like if you bought the dip, like what if you bought the dip when everyone else is selling? How did that work out? You know, there's a lot of scenarios that you can that you can do to um, play around with and see see how that trade actually worked out you don't have to wait for it to pan out you can go into any date in the past and any time and you can go relive yesterday if you want and figure out hey if i put this trade on yesterday how much money would i be up and if you don't understand it's a good way to start understanding how delta works how implied volatility works how a lot of different things work and this is live in real time it's free it's through the thinkorswim platform so you know that's how you would back test your strategy so if this video is a value to you definitely please hit the like button Please subscribe. Definitely appreciate you. If you're if you're confused, leave a comment below. I definitely lets you know. Um, I'll, I'll reply. So, as always, stay safe, stay green. It's us versus herd.